Chapter 35 Now Josiah kept a Passover to the Lord in Jerusalem, and they slaughtered the Passover lambs on the fourteenth day of the first month. And he set the priests in their duties and encouraged them for the service of the house of the Lord. Then he said to the Levites who taught all Israel, who were holy to the Lord, Put the holy ark in the house which Solomon the son of David, king of Israel, built. It shall no longer be a burden on your shoulders. Now serve the Lord your God and his people Israel. Prepare yourselves according to your father's houses, according to your divisions, following the written instruction of David, king of Israel, and the written instruction of Solomon his son. And stand in the holy place according to the divisions of the father's houses of your brethren the lay people, and according to the division of the father's house of the Levites. So slaughter the Passover offerings, consecrate yourselves, and prepare them for your brethren, that they may do according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. Then Josiah gave the lay people lambs and young goats from the flock, all for Passover offerings for all who were present, to the number of thirty thousand, as well as three thousand cattle. These were from the king's possessions. And his leaders gave willingly to the people, to the priests, and to the Levites, Hilkiah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, rulers of the house of God, gave to the priests for the Passover offerings 2,600 from the flock and 300 cattle. Also Conaniah, his brothers Shemaiah and Athanel, and Hashabiah and Jehiel, and Josabad, chief of the Levites, gave to the Levites four Passover offerings, 5,000 from the flock and 500 cattle. So the service was prepared, and the priests stood in their places, and the Levites in their divisions, according to the king's command. And they slaughtered the Passover offerings. And the priests sprinkled the blood with their hands, while the Levites skinned the animals. Then they removed the burnt offerings, that they might give them to the divisions of the fathers' houses of the lay people, to offer to the Lord, as it is written in the book of Moses. And so they did with the cattle. Also they roasted the Passover offerings with fire according to the ordinance. But the other holy offerings they boiled in pots, in cauldrons, and in pans, and divided them quickly among all the lay people. Then afterward they prepared portions for themselves and for the priests. Because the priests, the sons of Aaron, were busy in offering burnt offerings and fat until night. Therefore the Levites prepared portions for themselves and for the priests, the sons of Aaron. And the singers, the sons of Asaph, were in their places according to the command of David, Asaph, Heman, and Jeruthun, the king's seer. Also the gatekeepers were at each gate. They did not have to leave their position, because their brethren the Levites prepared portions for them. So all the service of the Lord was prepared the same day to keep the Passover and to offer burnt offerings on the altar of the Lord, according to the command of King Josiah. And the children of Israel who were present kept the Passover at that time, and the Feast of Unleavened Bread for seven days. There had been no Passover kept in Israel like that since the days of Samuel the prophet, and none of the kings of Israel had kept such a Passover as Josiah kept, with the priests and the Levites, all Judah and Israel, who were present, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. In the eighteenth year of the reign of Josiah, this Passover was kept. After all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, Necho, king of Egypt, came up to fight against Carchemish by the Euphrates, and Josiah went out against him. But he sent messengers to him, saying, What have I to do with you, king of Judah? I have not come against you this day, but against the house with which I have war, for God commanded me to make haste. Refrain from meddling with God, who is with me, lest he destroy you. Nevertheless, Josiah would not turn his face from him, but disguised himself so that he might fight with him, and did not heed the words of Necho from the mouth of God. So he came to fight in the valley of Megiddo. And the archers shot King Josiah, and the king said to his servants, Take me away, for I am severely wounded. His servants therefore took him out of that chariot, and put him in the second chariot that he had, and they brought him to Jerusalem. So he died and was buried in one of the tombs of his fathers. And all Judah and Jerusalem mourned for Josiah. Jeremiah also lamented for Josiah, and to this day all the singing men and the singing women speak of Josiah in their lamentations. They made it a custom in Israel, and indeed they are written in the laments. Now the rest of the acts of Josiah and his goodness 
according to what was written in the law of the Lord, and his deeds from first to last. Indeed, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah.